All right, so this morning after making over 200 phone calls and going to over 50 locations, we finally got somebody to agree to have a meeting with us and sit down and show us some, uh, a couple of their properties and uh, probably get a, a chance to potentially close on uh, one of these sales. So right now they're about to show us uh, a couple of the units, the one, two, and three bedroom units. So we can get an uh, idea of how big and then the work that we'll be doing in each one of the units. So would this be um, usually the process you guys, you guys are having painted and then all the stuff out and then you call in the cleaning or Exactly. Uh, our, our housekeeping is done next to last. Okay. Flooring is the only thing that usually is done after cleaning. Okay. All right. Uh, whether it be cleaning the carpet, replacing the carpet. Okay. Whichever. Okay. All right. And it's just one bedroom, one bathroom? Yes, right. it's pretty bathroom down the hall from you. Okay, simple enough. Yeah, this unit, we're still working on it. Okay. I'm just showing it to you so you can get the get layout. layout. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We don't provide washers and dryers. Okay. This situation, um, the previous resident sold that washer and dryer to the new residents that are going to be moving in. Oh, uh, okay, so this is just a space. Correct. Wash and dryer hookup, but no wash and dryer. Okay. Um, but that's another one of those things that may be changing with our new okay. management. They're, they're talking about putting washers and dryers in the new space. Okay. I just like to say most of the appliances are going to be newer. Um, I noticed you look at challenges um, so you have like a uh, older bathrooms and stuff like that be a little bit more challenging to clean as opposed to newer ones um, modern kind of stuff like laminate the types of floors um, the average state that uh, the apartments are in uh, and we can kind of predict the amount of time that it would take the cleaners to clean this apartment and stuff like that so we can give a fair price and whatever that's fair to both the cleaner and the company. And then all the things, all the challenges that's come, like right now this floor, is this going to be carpet or is it going to be laminate? Um, the difference between the two is that carpet will take a little longer because you have to vacuum and get the edges, and especially if people have pets and hair get trapped in and stuff like that. So just looking at all the different unique cleaning challenges that each one of these units presents. The sub patio, the patio. Now we don't do too much of like scrubbing and stuff like that. We have some people that want us to like clean up there or scrub and stuff like that. That's more like All right, so he just showed us uh, three the three different styles of apartments that they have here: one bedroom, two bedrooms, and three bedrooms. And uh, one of the things that I asked him as well: how many three bedrooms that they had? He said it had over 30 units out of 200 units. So the reason why I asked him that is because <clears throat> one of the things that we want to do is when we when we talk about pricing or when we giving them a quote is we want to price we want to put it at a price point that's appealing for the um, the community and the company, but also it's also profitable to us. 
and that's also not discouraging to the cleaners. So one of the things that these communities, uh, uh, property managers like is they like a standard one price fits all. So one of the things that um, I'm charged with assessing is that if we do a one price fits all, would it be worth it for us? So considering that uh, three bedrooms make up less than almost uh, less than 20% of their overall units maintained on this property, then we can do a one price fits all because the op the chances, um, the um, probability of us doing a three bedroom or the frequency of us doing a three bedroom would be a lot smaller. Over 53% of the units out here are two bedrooms. So we'll probably give them the two bedroom price. It'll be a blanket price for all of them. And then, um, so that'll kind of, that kind of make up the difference for the company for the loss that we'll take on cleaning the three bedrooms we'll make it up on when we cleaning the one bedrooms the one bedrooms make up around about 30 percent of the 30 percent of the property so it all balances itself out just gave us a walk of the property um, gave us all the details about the areas that they inquired about getting clean so they gave me a list of instructions to do so I can submit a final quote um, how to structure it the letterhead X Y and Z and then um, so they sound pretty eager to have us on board right now they have like an independent person that do it but they really need a company to come in here so we kind of caught these people at the perfect time um, at a pain point so and uh, so we're hoping to be their solution so that goes to show you you know uh you got to put in like a lot a lot a lot of effort like grant grant cardone says the best massive amounts of effort man um we called over 200 companies before we even got this get one company to consider us so those are the things you need to kind of consider when you start in any type of business is that you got to really hit the ground running and stuff like that and 
and you got to what sets you apart from other companies is the we 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 might not do the we don't have the fanciest equipment a lot of people think it's equipment and vehicles and stuff like that but we will outwork any other company in the area and that's what you got to be willing to do 200 calls in a week sounds nuts to some people but look 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 at how it paid off so lesson today get up off your butt and you gotta put in the work